everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you eight ways to gain repeat loyal customers for your Etsy business. And by applying these simple steps, it will help you retain current customers and encourage them to continue doing business for life. So if you wanna learn all about these tips, you wanna make sure that you stick around all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, consider subscribing. I do upload weekly videos to help you grow an impactful online business. And this is for everyone, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one notified of every new video that I upload. So let's go ahead and let's let the fun begin, right? <laughs> Did you know in business there are three fundamental strategies to grow and survive? So the first one is generate new leads. The second one is converting more leads into actual sales. And the third one is retaining customers by encouraging them to continue doing business for life. And one of the questions that I get all the time is how do you exactly get repeated customers to do business with you over and over? So let's go over the eight tips that I have for you today that will definitely help you out with that. Number one is download the XC Seller app. It lets you easily manage your business on the go. You will be able to respond to customers see your shop stats, manage your orders, and the best part of the app is being able to see any messages from potential buyers and not missing an opportunity to provide great customer service and potentially close out the sale. Um, tip number two is to respond to inquiries as quickly as possible. How quickly you respond to customers' inquiries can have an impact on your sales. So it's important to respond um, as soon as possible, not only to possibly get the sale, but it's one of the core attributes of customer service. Um, I personally had had so many sales from simply responding to an inquiry in a fast, timely manner. Tip number three is fix your mistakes. If you find yourself making a mistake, it's important right, to fix it and take ownership. Transparency is important in a business, and it's okay to say, right, we made a mistake, and we here are the steps that we're taking to fix it. Um, always strive to go out of your way by not only providing a resolution to fix the issue, but also offering something of value. Maybe you could waive the shipping fee, right, this time around, or throw in something extra in the order as a thank you. Um, the next tip is go the extra mile, right? Another great way to build loyal customers is going the extra mile. Make it a habit of going the extra mile with every customer. It will help you beat the competition and keep yourself in the radar for future business. Um, so here's some examples of what you could do to kind of go the extra mile. Um, be proactive by following up with any issues. Um, you could respond quickly to inquiries. We kind of covered that a few seconds ago. Show appreciation by saying thank you to your new customers after a sale. Always deliver more than, than expected. Make it personal by responding to your customers by the first name. Who doesn't like to be called by the first name? Prioritize your customer's time. Um, say thank you even when they don't buy from you. Be generous to your most loyal customers. Show empathy when needed. This is something that I do all the time. Don't wait for opportunities to keep in touch with your customers. Um, send out a thank you card or if you sell digital products, a digital card. Show interest in people. Focus on the customer's needs. Um, always respond with a positive attitude. Um, another tip is thanking your customers. I'm sure you've heard of send, sending a thank you card to customers. It's a great way to make a positive impression, an easy way to show appreciation. But at many XC sellers miss the opportunity to build loyal customers by not taking the time to say thank you. A thank you note is such an effective way, right, to provide excellent customer service without taking up a lot of your time and effort. It, it just really helps. Um, another tip is to show empathy. So learning to be empathetic will help you provide excellent customer service and make sure you stand out from your competitors. It really does help you. When a customer has a problem 
with an order is your job to make them feel heard, um, respected, and understood, regardless if they are in the wrong, right? So here's some steps that you could take to show empathy and win over the customer, right? At any, even if they're upset, um, listen to them. Always recap everything the customer just told you so they know that you understand. Uh, make it your problem, right? Allow them to vent. It's okay to let them vent. Be respectful of their feelings when you're responding, right? Put yourself in the customer's shoes. Um, meet their expectations. Show that you care. And then thank them for allowing you to resolve their issues. Um, ask questions to better help. Um, find a resolution. Um, give options and suggestions if needed. And then just go the extra mile. Um, another thing that you could do, another tip is offer suggestions. So another way to take your customer service to the next level is by offering products or services after a sale. So if you have a customer who just recently purchased a wedding sign from your store, for example, it's great practice to let them know um, that you have, hey, by the way, I have these matching items go, that go with this particular product. It doesn't always guarantee a sale, but it's a way of ensuring one great customer service and possibly getting up sales. And it really does work. This helped me triple my income the second year on XE. Um, another thing is ask for feedback. If you want to grow your Etsy business, you need to seek input from others. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're doing an exceptional job. There's always room for improvement. Ask your customers for feedback and be clear that you want honesty. You know, you want honest feedback um, and do your best to understand things from their perspective and try not to take it personal. I know it's hard, but try not to take it personal. By following all of these tips, it will definitely help you get repeated customers for your Etsy business. Let me know in the comments below if you have any additional tips that maybe I didn't share. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video if you found valuable. Thanks again for watching.